Girls race completed. Louisville Flower Mound, your champion. 157 to Ventura's 193. Santiago Corona finishing third with 215 points. And the defending champions, Air Academy from Colorado, finishing sixth with 352 points. So if you thought that race had a lot of storylines, we are in for a treat for this boys sweepstakes race. So what is at stake? As they're off and running the final race of the 2024 Woodbridge Cross Country Classic is off and running. So as I mentioned at the start of this start of the fast races here tonight Harriman looking for that three peat looking to become that first team outside of California to accomplish that feat and they'll be challenged of course by South Lake Carroll number six in the dice stat early season rankings also in that mix Port Lane out of Idaho the NXR Northwest champions the first team out of Idaho ever to win NXR Northwest and then Crater number 11 in the country led by their fantastic duo of Josiah Tostenson and Taven Kitchen. A great Northwest battle between them and Quarter Lane. Then Great Oak, they were third in this meet last year. Weston Brown was their top athlete. He was ninth overall. Martin Luther King, number 18 in the country. 16th last year, but they have a team full of juniors and seniors and have an outstanding athlete in Maximo Zavaleta. And Rock Candy, number 19 in the country, seventh last year out of the state of Colorado. Owen Whitney, their top returner. Talking about individuals, Evan Noonan won this race last year as a junior, looking to become the first repeat since Nico Young in 2018 and 2019 when he was at Newberry Park. And of course, just like the girls race where we saw the national prep record go down, the all-time three-mile time is up for grabs in this race. Noonan last year was just three seconds off of Leo Young's all-time best, 13.38. Now it's from the 2021 meet when that meet was held at Silver Lake Sports Complex. Within the last two years though, there has been an athlete outside of the state of California that has won this meet. And it was actually a young man from Crater High School and former teammates of both Tostenson and Kitchen. It was Tyrone Gorzi, he won this event back in 2022. So if a Crater athlete were to cross the line first, it'd just be the second in the last three years that an athlete from the same school won this event. So those are the storylines for this race. Been talking about Josiah Tostenton there, you'll see him in fourth position right now and his teammate Taven Kitchen setting the pace early on. Then the defending champion Evan Noonan in the iconic blue and white striped jersey for Dana Hills. And the young man that just actually had a conversation with Josiah Tostenson a lot of people recognize his last name, of course, the son of Andy and Marisa Powell from the University of Washington. This is Owen Powell representing Mercer Island High School, the Washington State all-time 800-meter record holder and was the Nike Indoor National Champion in the 800 at the Armory last spring. And speaking of which, as I mentioned, the Coeur boys, out front for them is Maximus Servi Skinner pushing it up front with Taven Kitchen. So by my calculations, there are four athletes in that top pack right now that are represented out of the NXR Northwest region. So Servi Skinner in the blue top, Taven Kitchen to his right with the orange C on his chest. Then there's Dana Hills, Evan Noonan in the white and blue striped. They're cruising along here through this first mile and approaching that mile marker, just passing four minutes now. And 
And through our first mile, it's Owen Powell, Taven Kitchen, and Maximus Servi Skinner, and Josiah Tossinson. So the top four athletes, as I mentioned, all from the same region back in the Northwest. And it's Owen Powell with the lead at 435-4 through that first mile. And in the team race, South Lake Carroll just four points ahead of Harriman. And then Crater sits in third with 187 points. South Lake Carroll, number six in the country. Now out front ahead of the number one team and the, or the reigning NXN champions out of Utah, Harriman Mustangs. We had a conversation the other day with their head coach, Doug Souls, and last year's team, of course, was was a really, really, really good team. Obviously, they, they dominated the competition, and they showed what they were able to do, not only in the state of Utah, but for what they were able to accomplish at Nike Cross Nationals. That was a very good team. Doug Souls believes that this year's crew is far better and can be better than last year's team just because of the depth and just how tightly knit a group it is, just... The pack that they have, like it's everything about that group, it just seems like they are going to be another dominant team this year. So no surprise at some point in this race, we can see Harriman moving their way up past South Lake Carroll. But as of right now, South Lake Carroll, and you can see their top athlete, Caden Leonard, right there in the fifth position, just trailing Owen Powell and Maximus Servi Skinner, just ahead also of our reigning champion, Evan Noonan. But right now, the story between the top two athletes their teammates and Josiah Tossison and Taven Kitchen trying to add to the crater legacy that they've built here already at the Woodbridge Cross Country Classic and Tyrone Gorsey won this back in 2022 and these two have been training partners since middle school days and practically best friends as well they love pushing each other every day in practice and Honestly, they've and they've said this before, without either one of them, they don't think they'd be in the position they are in today. And you know, all credit goes to their their head coach Justin Loftus for you know kind of building the culture that they've done down at Crater High School, and it's really kind of shown with within that program the last couple of years, whether it's with Tyrone Gorzy or whether it's with these two that are in this Woodbridge race, and even on the girls' side, we've we've seen them excel and and go on to do great things. But really, it's you got to give credit to the man that's really kind of just put in all the, the time and effort to, to get these kids prepared for these types of races. I'm up to eight minutes now. That 435 first mile, we should expect the second to just be right around nine, nine, ten or so. Race that has certainly lived up to the hype so far as they've done through the first one and a half miles of this race. And now approaching that two mile mark. And into the lead now as they've gone through two miles, it's Josiah Tostenson just ahead of Taven Kitchen and Owen Powell just right behind Kitchen. Then Caden Leonard in fourth position and then Maximus Servi Skinner in fifth. Evan Noonan defending champion sits in sixth. Those six guys just separated by three seconds with less than a mile to go. And as I mentioned about Harriman, that 
group. They're still packed up together. And they put already their five guys through and through the second mile just ahead of South Lake Carroll's number four. And the lead has just changed drastically by almost a huge swing for Harriman. They're in the front now with 83 points to South Lake Carroll's 169. Tostenson is returning this season with the top 3,200 time from last spring in 839, trying to pull away. And for a young man that finished 95th in this race last year, he's looking for a huge redemption, especially since when he finished fifth in this race, he was one of the top contenders in last year's race and just did not have a good race last year, hence finishing 95th overall. But it so far looked like a complete competitor throughout this race and one that's eyeing a championship. At 4.35 the first mile, then 4.27. Leo Young's time of 13.38 is still up for grabs. We need to run about 4.35 or faster on this last mile to dip under that national record mark. And Josiah Tostenson starting to pull away here. 12 minutes into this race, Owen Powell in second, and then the defending champion, Evan Noonan, in third position. Taven Kitchen falling back to fourth. Caden Leonard right there in fifth position. But Owen Powell now pressing with Josiah Tostenson here in the final stages. The two Northwest athletes that are so familiar with each other have raced against one another for the last four years, pushing each other here on one of the biggest cross country stages. Josiah Tossinson, who recently just committed to the University of Washington, trying to outkick his future coach's son Coming up onto the closing 200 meters of this fantastic Woodbridge Cross Country Classic. Just surpassing 13 minutes now. As everyone's eyes are on the finish here, it's Tostenson and Powell, and Powell into the lead now! Takes a look over his shoulder, Tostenson trying to respond back, they're both going to the arms! And it's gonna be Powell across the line first for the win, and shatters Leo Young's record of 13.38. 13.30.3 for the win for Owen Powell of Mercer Island High School out of Washington. Tostenson finishing second in 13.30.5. Two tenths of a second separate those two from a Woodbridge cross country title. Maximus Servi Skinner finishing third, 13.37. He's also under the high school national record. So three guys similar to what we saw in the girls race just all under Leo Young's national record of 1338.1 from the 2021 meet at Silver Lake Sports Complex.
Then Harriman, their top guy, just finished sixth. That was Jackson Spencer, the transfer from last year from Syracuse. Then Tayshawn Ogamo in eighth. So two Harriman athletes in the top 10. You also see another athlete with the same last name as Maximus Servi Skinner. It's his twin brother, Zach Servi Skinner, finishing 11th in 13.59.3. And by my count, 12 athletes under 14 minutes. And look at the team score. As of right now, a dominating win for Harriman and a history maker. And unofficially right now, they are the three peat champions of the Woodbridge Cross Country Classic with 79 points. Again, Harriman 79 points, just over a dominating effort of South Lake Carroll and Crater. South Lake Carroll second with 234 points, Crater with 242 points. But let's look back at that replay of that finish right there. An unbelievable run between two of the Northwest best. They make the trek down to Southern California and make it a classic Woodbridge race. Didn't have to take a 436 mile to break the national record. Both Powell and Tostenson, 427.7 in what was a dog fight of a finish in the end. We look back at this replay right here. Powell looking over his shoulder one last time to see if he can hold off Tostenson. And Tostenson tried to throw in a surge here and also going to the arms. Might be an interesting conversation at home with dad and son. You know, dad's gonna be like, you know, you just beat my recruit, and son's be like, yeah, well, I, I think I can, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and so, an unbelievable finish between Owen Powell, Josiah Tostenson, and great representation from the NXR Northwest region as a whole. But what an unbelievable night, and what a way really to just kick off this cross country season here on RunnerSpace.com. Calm. You know, plenty of action really just to come throughout the entire cross country season. We'll have plenty of races, but to really start it off with this race here in at the Woodbridge Cross Country Classic, we not only have one national record, but two national records set from both Riley Blade and Owen Powell. Truly remarkable finish.